everyone. My name is Alex. I'm an EAP teacher here at Academia International. And today I'm going to talk to you about presentation structure. Um, now, similar to essays, presentations have three parts. Okay, so we have an introduction, the body, and the conclusion. So, first of all, let's have a look at your introductions. Okay. Now, the first thing you need to do is, um, obviously, greet your audience, introduce yourself, and tell your audience a little bit about yourself. For example, uh, good morning, my name's Alex, I'm an EAP teacher. Done. Now, the next thing you need to do, of course, is tell us the title or the subject of your presentation. I've chosen this topic, so I would introduce this part by saying, today I'd like to talk to you about the story of ice cream. Now, another thing you need to do, of course, is tell us the purpose or the reason for your presentation or the purpose of your topic. So I might say something like this. Um, the purpose of this talk is to give you the background information to the development of ice cream. Okay. Now, you also need to tell your, your audience how long you're going to be talking for. The only way you will know for sure is to rehearse, rehearse, rehearse. Um, if you rehearse two or three times, you can time yourself and then you'll be able to tell your audience something like this. I shall only take 10 minutes of your time. Now, you haven't finished yet. The most important part of an introduction, of course, is your outline or your main points. So this is where you tell the audience the four subtopics that you'll be discussing. Now, I said four because for a 10 minute presentation, four subtopics are probably enough. Okay. Um, so these are my four subtopics here. Now, when you're introducing these to your audience, you might say something like this. Um, first of all, we'll have a look at the history of ice cream. After that, we'll focus on Italy during the 17th century, a very important time for our modern ice cream. And then we'll have a look at the consumption rates. We'll have a look at which countries eat the most ice cream. And finally, we'll have a look at a few famous brands. Okay, so that's your outline. Now, also, don't forget, um, there will be question and answer time at the end of your talk. So you need to just let your audience know that you'll be asking, oh, they can ask you questions at the end. So you might say something like, um, I'll be happy to answer any questions at the end of my presentation. Now, the last part of your introduction, this is where you need to make a connection with your audience. Um, you can do this by asking one or two questions. Okay, so my topic is the history of ice cream or the story of ice cream. So I might ask questions such as, um, how many of you eat ice cream? Uh, what's your favorite flavor? Things like that. Okay. Back in a sec, we'll have a look at the body. Okay, so now let's have a look at the body. Okay, um, so this is our outline. Okay, so for each of these sections, I need to open and close. Um, so we can use these sorts of phrases. Let's have a look at how this would work. Okay, so this is my first topic. Um, I would introduce it by saying, so, let's start with the history of ice cream. And I might say a couple of things, details, examples. And now I need to close that section. So I would say, so, that's the first thing I wanted to share with you. Now, let's move on to Italy. Let's have a look at the 17th century. Um, so I've introduced my second subtopic. I talk about a couple of details, examples. And now I need to close that section as well. So I might say, so that covers Italy in the 17th century. Now we come to 
And now you introduce your third subtopic, all right? So now we come to consumption rates around the world. Let's have a look at who's eating the most ice cream. We'll talk about that for a few minutes. Let's close that section. So let's leave that. And that brings us to the final section, which is famous brands. Okay, so you talk about a few famous brands. Okay, back in a second. Um, okay, so now let's have a look at the conclusion. Um, at this stage, a lot of students and teachers are so relieved their presentation is over that they just say, the end. But hang on a minute, you still have to do a few more things. Okay, now the first thing you need to do, of course, is signal the end. So you might say something like, uh, that brings me to the end of my presentation. Now, one more thing. You need to summarize your subtopics. So remember we had um, four subtopics. So what you should do is just briefly one sentence per topic, just remind your audience what you talked about. Um, so you might remind your audience like this. Um, so firstly, we had a look at the history of ice cream. Um, we learned that it was 3,000 years old, a very old type of food. Um, you might also mention, of course, that modern ice cream, of course, originated from Italy in the 17th century. Um, and also, we, we noticed that Australia had the highest consumption rate of ice cream in the world. And finally, we also had a look at some famous brands and the famous take-home brands, of course, were Magnum and Cornetto. Now, one more thing, a few more things. Um, you need to make a recommendation. So you might say something like this. Um, so next time, you're, uh, next time you buy an ice cream, um, think about that the food that you're eating is actually 3,000 years old, something like that. And now you can say, thank you for your attention. I'd be glad to answer any questions now. Okay, thank you very much. Bye.